Continuing on from the Baltic coast and the north of Germany, I'm now on tour on the east coast of the United States. On the way, I stopped by a very special place, at a hidden location near Spandau in a mysterious warehouse, with some very special objects. This is the start of what is going to be one of the major collections of historical pianos by the Karl Bechstein Foundation. More and more instruments are arriving constantly. I was allowed to come in for a sneak preview.
This got me thinking about one thing. When I talk to people, I often get the response, Sui Ling, who's that? And it's true, he's not very well known today, if you consider how important, how influential, and how good his music is. Part of the reason is that there has not been a widespread, unbroken tradition of performance. You see, we make music alive whenever we play it. Sui Ling's music was not alive in, let's say, 1800. One question is, of course, is this perhaps to do with the instrument? There is a fundamental difference between these historical pianos and the modern piano. It is that these instruments were used to play music of their own time, whereas the modern piano in classical music is used to play music not of its own time, but rather of anterior eras. Most of what we play on the standard modern piano was not written for it. One is conditioned to think it wrong to take one of these 1800s pianos and, uh, like I did, play 1600s music on it. But somehow every day, in every concert hall, anywhere, we're taking a 2000s instrument and playing 1800s music on it. So is the modern piano intrinsically better suited to playing music not of its time, which is most of what we use it for, than a piano of 1800? You might feel that actually the old piano is even acoustically more similar to a harpsichord, and so by nature, one could claim, it should actually be even better for playing harpsichord works. But that is either a non sequitur or an ill-defined argument. You can't really see it that simply. It all depends on nature and nurture. And the fact is, by nurture, we have today an instrument in the modern piano which has assumed the role of a vehicle to present music of all eras and styles in the musical life of today. If we take advantage of that, we're in a better position than at any other time in the last few hundreds of years to revive and appreciate a music such as Swaylings.